Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky on Thursday called on European Union leaders to unite in helping Ukraine as he arrived in Brussels to outline his victory plan to end the country's devastating war with Russia. Speaking to the media alongside the President of the European Council, Charles Michel, Zelensky told reporters his plan aims to strengthen Ukraine and pave the way for an end to the conflict on Europe's eastern flank. I think that this plan doesn't depend on Russian will, only on the will of our partners, he said before addressing leaders at an EU summit. Zelensky was later due to shuttle across Brussels to meet with NATO defense ministers. The EU is a key supporter of Ukraine, a candidate member of the 27-nation bloc, as it fights Russia's invasion that began more than two and a half years ago. What is needed is more military equipment, more technologies so that Ukraine are in a position to defend itself against this terrible and blatant violation of the international law, Michel added. And of course for me it's very important to share our victory plan with all the leaders who helped us uh, who helped us with your leadership from the very beginning of full-scale war and with some maybe with some notes which will be out of press and uh, of course I want to speak about this 35 um, billions of from 50 billions of Russian assets, the decision during G7 and now the finding right mechanism for getting this money as quick as possible to us. I said very openly now with the president that when we had very big gap, long, long months without without military support, really our interior production of drones and electronic systems of electronic warfare helped a lot. Our plan is to strengthen Ukraine, to be strong and be ready to diplomacy anything, to be very strong. And it's great, I think, that this plan doesn't depend on Russian will, only on the will of our partners. And I think this, this gives opportunity to make this plan real. And on our side, the partners of Ukraine, we have to be consistent. Uh, and the words, this is good, but not enough. What is needed, this is more military equipment, more technologies, uh, so that uh, the Ukraine are in a position uh, to, uh, to defend itself against this uh, uh, terrible uh, and blatant violation of the international law. We need to move some partners forward. And I think only with the unity in EU, we can move and can move not only EU leaders, we can move other leaders. Thank you. President Volodymyr Zelensky presented Ukraine's much-debated victory plan at Parliament on October 16. The proposal is comprised of five points, an invitation to join NATO, a defense aspect, deterrence of Russian aggression, economic growth and cooperation, and post-war security architecture, according to Kiev Independent. If the plan is supported, we can end the war no later than next year, Zelensky said in the parliament in the presence of Commander-in-Chief Oleksandr Sersky, military intelligence chief Kirillo Budinov, and Western diplomats. Ukraine's invitation to join NATO was placed at the top of the list. Kiev submitted its application to join in September 2022 but has yet to receive a clear signal from the Allies. Zelensky said that the step should be taken now, representing a shift from his earlier comments that the move might be delayed until the end of the war. The second article stresses the need to bring the war to Russian territory, such as during the cross-border Kursk incursion launched in early August. This item also calls for lifting restrictions on long-range strikes in Russia, additional supplies of long-range capabilities, and Western support in downing Russian missiles and drones over Ukraine. The third point refers to non-nuclear deterrence and includes a secret part. 
Ukraine is proposing a comprehensive non-nuclear strategic deterrence package on its territory that would safeguard the country against future aggression. The fourth part addresses Ukraine's use of its natural resources, such as uranium, titanium, and lithium, which present economic growth potential for Kyiv and the EU. Ukraine is offering a special agreement on joint investment and use of these resources with the EU and the US. The part also calls for ramping up international sanctions against Russia to undermine its ability to sustain its aggression. The fifth part relates to Ukraine's post-war security architecture. Kyiv boasts a large and experienced military force that should strengthen NATO and the European continent, Zelensky said.